Hi. Um, you know, I just really think that y'all f- suck. Um, I really hope that when people sue y'all, you lose. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, what a waste of space. What what a waste of oxygen, honestly. I mean, yeah, literally the worst, bro. Literally the worst. Not only are you taking away women's rights, but you're making it possible to sue people with no, like, evidence whatsoever. And then even if they win the case, they still have to pay for lawyer fees and court costs and all of that. Um, What in the witch hunt? Uh, What in the, you know, Gilead is going on here? Um, If anyone should have been aborted, it's all of the people who voted for this and made this happen. It's all of y'all who work there. It's all of y'all who enforce this. Thank you so much. Bye. Eat babies. Once they're born, eat them. Eat the babies. Roast them, boil them, eat the babies. Or abort them. Your choice, moron. Texas Right to Life, you hateful, ignorant, uneducated sheep. You f***ing fools. You just swallow the that your Republican men feed you with a spoon, and you smile with your covered teeth, and you beg for seconds because you're sheep. You are weak-willed. You are easily influenced. You really believe that you were born a sinner? You really believe that you need saved? That the church feeds you to control you and tax you, but you people are too stupid to see it and any women working down there at texas right to light you vile evil i'm just going to call it what it is you vile evil how dare you you want to sell yourself out go right ahead sell yourself out but you have no right to make that decision for the rest of us you think that you're pro-life pro-life would never would never inflict the kind of trauma on women and children that you sick are asking this law to do. You want to force nine and 10 year old little girls to give birth to their rapist daddy or their rapist brother or their rapist grandfather or their rapist uncle or their rapist pastor. Yep. It's always the pastor touching on the children, the deacon's wife, stealing out of the congregation plate while claiming it's all in the name of the Lord. Well, guess what, sweetie? The Lord isn't going to save you because there isn't one. Because Jesus wasn't white. The apostles weren't white. The Bible has been rewritten so many times that you couldn't possibly know what the word of God was if there ever was one. Jesus is a figment of your imagination, and you're going to use it to get up on your soapbox and act all self-righteous like you know what it's like to have to make that choice, and you don't. Clearly, you don't. You people are f***ing sick. You're f***ing self-righteous hypocrites. Don't force your f***ing religion on us, on the rest of us, because you need somebody to f***ing tell you how to be a good person. The rest of us were born knowing how to be a good person. It's f***ers like you that need to bend over and slowly but surely unlodge your head from your f***ing because you can't see through the f***ing that you're being f***ing fed. F***ing pathetic. It's pathetic. You've been indoctrinated. You haven't been educated. You're a cult. Only a cult would impregnate children and then require them to give birth. Sick. And you think your deadbeat piece of rapist, racist governor is going to save anyone? He was the attorney general of Texas for 13 years. He didn't clear the streets of rapists then. What the makes you think he's going to do it now? He's placating you and you're stupid and weak-willed so you believe it. And then you try to force that on other people. Then you try to turn citizens against themselves. Sick. That's sick. You call us liberals, communists? You guys are fascist, dictator pieces of shit. That's some shit that happens in communist China, in communist Russia. You want to talk about how awful the Taliban is? They do the same thing that you're doing down there in Texas. You're 
sick. All you sitting down there with your little micro and your erectile dysfunction hating on women because mommy didn't love you. You're sick. Go get a therapist. We're taking it out on the rest of us. You have mommy issues. That's your problem. It's not ours. Hi. I killed some babies this morning. More as a matter of fact. Yeah. Good old wire coat hanger. I'm making a good business doing this, you know. I charge less than a real abortionist. You know, these women are desperate. Two of the women have died already, but I don't care. I got 400 bucks a piece for them. Plus, I can sell the dead baby stem cell. 